listening to WANK, Atlanta's station for music that gets you up and going in the morning. Had an email in from a listener in Sandy Springs, Ben. Ben says he loves listening to us as he's traveling to and from his very early morning swims. Ben's a triathlete and he's uh, training hard for his first race of the year, which is in Texas. And he wants to do well enough to end up in the uh, World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. Well, Ben, good luck with that. And it's about two minutes from dawn here on WANK, your home for music that gets you up and keeps you going. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. We've already been for our swim, and we just managed to make it home to let the chickens out, which I am super happy about. But we've got an important one today, because I'm going to be talking about my upcoming races, my goals for this year, and I have a two and a half hour run to do. We're just over four weeks away from the first race of the season, so we'll talk about it, I'll tell you about it, and let's get going. So races for 2024. Starting us off, Ironman Texas in just over four weeks time. I am super excited for that one. I am yet to master the Ironman distance. This will be my third Ironman, so still I know it takes some people a long time, but I'm hoping I can get it right. The third attempt, Ironman Texas, is going to be a stacked field there. It's going to be super hot, but I really need to do well there because I still need my Kona qualification. But training is coming along really nicely. Just a few more solid weeks, and then we get to test it all out at Ironman Texas. So that race is followed very closely by 70.3 Chattanooga. Just a few weeks later, I don't know how my legs are going to be after just doing Texas, but we'll find out. And that's kind of like a local race to us in Atlanta. It's very close, just a couple hours drive. And there's going to be a lot of people there I know. I've had a great time in the past there, so just kind of a must-do for me. I don't really have any big goals for Chattanooga. That one's just go out there, have fun, see what you can do, and just be with friends. So after Chattanooga, there's a big gap because the next race I'm signed up for is 70.3 Augusta. Now, that is my all-time favorite race. I've done it a few times before. Absolutely love it. Again, there's a ton of friends out there. The atmosphere there is absolutely amazing. And I've just yet to have a bad race there. So we're going to be doing that one again. Super excited. But between Chattanooga and Augusta, I'm hoping to add a few more races. Maybe we'll have to add another Ironman if Texas doesn't go well. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, those are the three I'm signed up for right now. Absolutely hoping to add a few more. But I'm super excited. Because right now it's all eyes ahead on Texas. Training is going well. Things are looking good. And I'm feeling great. But let's head outside, let's go get this run done, and then we'll come right back here, and we'll talk about my goals for 2024, because I've got some big ones. Alrighty, so two and a half hour run today, and I am super excited, because my dad is going to be biking alongside with me, and we haven't done this in a very long time, and uh, he jumped on the bike earlier, and it just made me smile. I am so excited for this. But as for the run, two and a half hours, like I said, and I have four by 20 minutes at Ironman pace, which is about 6.45. I'm hoping to run just under a three hour marathon in Texas. We're doing it in the heat of the day today, just like Texas will be, but we're ready, we're excited. So let's get going. So a 15 minute warm up, loosen up the legs, and then we are straight into the four by 20 minutes at race pace with five minutes recovery in between. And it is a hot one today. Perfect training for Texas. Just starting the first 20 minute interval, 6.45 pace, back on.
that's the first one done 635 pace so a little bit fast but we'll slow it down now settle in three more to do we got a five minute recovery before we start the next one <laughs> Oh man, well, not the run we wanted. Unfortunately, an hour 15 minutes into the run, I had to call it. My stomach is in absolute shambles. I just cannot keep running. I think I must have eaten something either this morning, last night, that just doesn't agree with me. And as I get closer to this race, I need to make sure, I need to be smarter about what I'm eating so that I can do these big workouts because these are really key workouts and I'm, I'm really annoyed that I missed this one. It's not a great look though, is it? In a video where I'm talking about my races, my goals, how I hope to have such a good year and I can't even finish my long run. But look, I'm in a good attitude. I had fun on that run until I didn't. My dad was with me. We had a great time. There'll always be tomorrow. So I just need to be smarter about what I eat. Focus on that. But yeah, let's head back. Unfortunate, but what can you do? Well, that run didn't go so well, did it? But let's put it aside. And that's triathlon training, really. You can't always have the best day. You just have to enjoy the process, be as happy as you can, and know there'll be tomorrow when you can turn things around and it'll all be better. So my goals for this year, I'm going to break them down to three categories and in no particular order, they're all equally as important. Let's start off with number one, consistency. So this includes everything from training to YouTube and just life really. I've in the past gone up so high sometimes that I just come absolutely crashing down and consistency is really something I've struggled with in the past we've been good this year so far posted every Sunday I'm gonna keep that up and my training is looking good okay I have days where it doesn't go well as like that run I just did but it's consistency right it's riding that line enjoying the process and just not getting too high that you have to come crashing down just being consistent enjoying the process number two this is more of a youtube goal i want to inspire i want to motivate and i want to entertain i tell you the past few months what i've really realized is the people that reach out to me the people when they see me in public they come up to me and say ben what you're doing has helped me so much there's honestly nothing that hits me that hard i it just means the world to me to be honest because if what i'm doing here can help you guys, can help one person out there, then that's what matters the most to me. And goal number three, my motto, it's what I try and live by. It might sound cliche, but it's be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. So being happy doesn't mean just smiling every day. Sure, smiling can get you past some things, but if you're really not enjoying life, then smiling can only get you so far. You've got to do things you love. You've got to be with people you love and you all have to bring each other up. And that's what it's about. It's every day, just waking up with a purpose, waking up with intention, just doing things you love, being with people you love, and having a good time. Now, being healthy doesn't mean just eating lettuce and working out. There's so much more to it. To be healthy, you need a healthy lifestyle. You need to be around people you love. You need to do things with a purpose. And life is, just like it is being happy, it's much better with a purpose, with a goal. And if you can be consistent, you can ride that line of life, you can just enjoy every day, enjoy the process, then it's gonna be that much better. And that's what I'm trying to find right now. I'm trying to be consistent, find the fine line of not going too high that I come crashing down, but just living day after day, waking up with a purpose, having a goal for every single day, and just enjoying it. Finally, being yourself. I try to show myself with these videos. You know, we got the chickens, the training. I try to keep it real on here. But in life, generally, being yourself means showing who you are and your friends will be the ones that know who you are. If you're trying to act different to impress other people, they're probably not your friends, right? The people close to you know you and love you for who you are. And that's what's important, right? 
You don't need to hide. You just show who you are. Be yourself and just enjoy it. I'm crazy. I admit that I'm crazy, but I love myself and I love that I'm crazy, right? It's, it makes me who I am. And everyone's got characteristics that makes you who you are. So you just got to let it out. Just be yourself. How's it going, everyone? It's Sunday today, Easter Sunday. The video is coming out in just a few hours, so I need to make sure I get that finished. But I just wanted to check in. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta. We got mom and dad outside doing some weeding. We let the chickens out so they're running free. And we might have an actual Easter egg hunt on our hands later because there are gonna be eggs all over the garden. But uh, if they're out happy, then I'm happy. Chickens! <laughs> but those are my goals for this year. I just wanted to get them out there, to be honest and I would love to know what you guys think of them. I didn't really touch on it much, but one of my big triathlon goals this year is to get to Kona, Hawaii, to do well in the Ironman distance, and that all starts with Texas. It's looking good, I'm feeling great about it, so we just need to stay focused in just a few more weeks. But that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and we will see you in the next one. Chicken! Ha <laughs>